Hello everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Cabin and we're playing some more Total War Warhammer. We're continuing our Dwarf Let's Play and I think I'm hoping right away we're going to get to hop right into a battle. Hopefully this will actually attack them. There's no red, so I'm kind of hoping we can get straight into this battle. Oh wait, making this attack is an act of war. Do you wish to proceed? Uh, cancel. Who are these guys then? It's a neutral army. Alright, well then I guess we're not going to attack you. Are you... No, you're orcs. Skull takers. So apparently I'm not fighting the skull takers. Well, anyways, we're going to move down here and we're going to start taking uh, uh, these couple sediments. And then I think we're going to try moving in on Iron Rock and Carrick Drawn and the Black Crag. Uh, we we kind of need to stop. Uh, who are these guys? These are the, um, the Greenskins. We kind of need to stop their expansion because, ugh. They're expanding a little too quickly for my taste, and I only have three towns, so I, I'm fairly confident in our ability to take them. I'm not too worried that they're going to have, like, armies that are going to, you know, overtake us. Um, and I, I feel pretty confident in our defenses as well, so I suppose let's just go ahead and move down this direction. We'll do something like this for now. Now, the other thing... Yeah, see, he has, like, no one in that town. The other thing is we could potentially move this guy out to come help. I think for now I'd rather keep him here just in case. Part of me also maybe wants to throw him in here into the Pillars of Grungai. Just in case we get flanked around the back, I can get him to either of these uh, towns if need be. Um, but I think for now we'll leave him there just in case. Um, the Zunbar or the Zufbar declared war in the Everland. Okay, I'm not sure who you are. Um, we encountered the Skull Takers for the first. Uh, alright. Hopefully he doesn't just, like, turn around and attack me. <laughs> Be like, dang it. Uh, what are we trying to do, anyways? Defeat three armies or garrisons from the following race, Greenskim tribes. So, yeah, I mean, that's what we're actually trying to do, is we're trying to take the Greenskim. Now, I'm assuming they actually mean the actual Greenskins and not, like, just the Skull Takers, because... The actual race is the orcs, right? So, anyways. Um, I think that's about all we can do. Is there any building or something we can do? We don't really have a lot of money right now, so eh, not really. We we also want to upgrade that. We need 4,500. We are currently at... No, cancel. We're upgrading the mustering hall. That's going to be good. Can't upgrade you. Can't upgrade you. Can't upgrade you. Can't. Can't. What's our population surplus? We're at two, so it's going to take a little bit before we can actually get... Oh, we could actually upgrade it right now. If we had enough income. Or sorry, yeah, if we had enough money. I think that actually might be what we're going to go for next. Because this is going to give me just a little bit more money. Give me a little more growth. And a bigger garrison. I think what we'll do is we'll do Mount Squighorn second. Since it's kind of in the awkwardness where it's near the greenskins. Am I currently at war with these guys? Zuffbar. I don't even know who they are. <laughs> it's the only problem with me not really knowing. No, they're actually dwarves. All right. So now we really don't have to worry about them so much. So yeah, I think we'll upgrade Squighorn next. And then that's going to allow me to get better tools, which can give me a little more income. And we're not going to be able to upgrade my trading depot. That's fine. But we could build another building and that might be worth it. So anyways, next turn. Oh, so he's actually running the army away. Okay, I will take the town for free. Ready? I don't think this is going to attack him. We mark grudge. Okay, so it wasn't for free. They still have a garrison. Is that their garrison? Because holy crap, that has to be an army. Um... Shield. I mean, these guys are pretty crappy. The archer boys are going to be crappy. Yeah, I mean, they have a lot of, like, squishy guys. These guys scare me a little bit. They have an armor of 30, which is nothing compared to my dwarf armor. Uh, but their weapon strength 34, melee attack 26, melee attack 22, weapon strength 28. Yeah. Yeah. Also, how can I tell if they're up... If they've leveled? Okay, so these guys are leveled. Eh, okay. Wait. How did I see that? Oh, these guys have leveled. My hammers have leveled. Really? <laughs> of all the people. My hammers. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Do any of these guys have a little... No, none of them even have XP. Oh, oh, I see. It's actually on there. Okay. So, well, let's compare the crossbowmen. So, these guys have two levels right now. They're, um... 
Melee attack is 18. So I'm assuming what's green is actually what is increased um, by the levels. So 22 missile damage versus 21, which is kind of minor. Uh, weapon strength 28. Yeah, see, that's the exact same. So essentially my melee defense, my melee attack, my leadership, and my missile damage all went up. Um, not a lot. So yeah, all right. That's fine. I think I will go ahead and starve these guys out, though. There's no reason for me to attack that large of a group. Um, and we just need five turns until they start um, suffering. The biggest thing is I do want to go ahead and bring the secondary armor in range. Let's come, like, kind of come up here. I'm going to get him over here. So just in case they decide to, like, I don't know, send some units at me, we're going to be a little better equipped to fight them. Uh, can I actually see the garrisons? Bergvar. Okay. It's him. So this one actually has the largest garrison. Alright. Is this the capital? I think Berg... No, Bergvar is the capital. So then what... Uh, this is rank two. They're all rank two. Huh. I don't know why it's so much bigger. I... Yeah. I don't know. Maybe... I... I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of reasons why, and I cannot for the life of me think of reasons why. <sighs> okay, so now we did actually upgrade. Ooh, we can upgrade our diamonds. That's 150 extra income. I think that's worth it versus upgrading you to rank 3 and waiting. Because that's only going to give me an extra 40 income. So I think I will go ahead and buy this right away. We can actually get this up to 600, which is another 150. We're making 944 per turn, which is pretty nice. Uh, and we can actually now purchase the Thane and the Longbeards. Um, can I come here to Heroes and actually get the... No. I can buy these two heroes, though. Oh, they're Thanes. Aha! Ah, that's cool. You know what the other thing I could be looking at doing? Uh, Go away. Can I send you... <laughs> okay, apparently not. I was going to see, because you can, like, have them weaken the city or something like that. But I guess when I'm already encircled, you can't do that. And you guys are not going to be able to actually recruit. Uh, local recruitment not available in foreign territory. Um, and so I'll have to actually go into a garrison stance. Because I was just wondering if it might be worth it for us to look at uh, getting some long beards. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's going to be worth it. We're making decent money. But I think I'm going to go ahead and take these guys out first. There's no reason. Um, so now we're basically going to be sitting here waiting for a couple of turns. I wonder what these wolves do. Who are you? Bergvar. Okay. They want to join war against the Border Princes. Nah. Nah, man. I'm okay. I know I... I nah. 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 Because the Border Princes are right on my border, and I really don't want to have to fight them. I'm not really all for fighting dwarves right now. <sighs> I think I did fight them before, and then I declared peace. But the thing is, he had this land right here. Also, they have a pretty freaking big scary army right there. So are the Border Princes not... Uh, I always thought the Border Princes were dwarves. Huh. Whoops. Ah, uh, he looks like a dwarf. I'm sorry. It's the big beard, man. He threw me. So they're actually humans. Huh. That's probably why he didn't like me so much. Bergvan, I don't suppose you, you actually want to, like, now. Nah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he hates me at this point because I'm like, nah, I don't want to do anything with you. So we're down to, what, like, four turns now before they start suffering damage? Uh, yeah, four turns. I'm not going to worry about, uh... I Basically, I'm not going to wait eight turns for them to actually uh, uh, surrender. I think that's ridiculous. What we want to do is we want them to actually start taking uh, damage in four turns. Uh, um, gosh, I can't think of the terms. My brain's not working yet today. Um, until they run out of supplies. And then they're going to slowly start taking quite a bit of damage. And actually, it should be significantly sped up because of my guy um, being right there as well. Uh, or because my guy, because of how I leveled him, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so let's go ahead and move you up here. We're going to put you right there so you get to join in on the war. And can we actually switch you? We cannot at this point. So now, can I join in now? I could actually add him to the army. 
But no, we don't have enough space. So I think that's okay for now. Uh, can we do any buildings? We need, what is this? 30, 3,200. So it's going to be, what, two turns so we can actually build. Unless we get something from the treasury. Now, I wonder if the grudges are going up. I didn't actually pay attention. No, not yet. So technology research, we got Dwarven Resolve. So leadership for all Dwarf infantry. So that means they're, I'm pretty sure leadership is making sure they don't break. So that is awesome. Because that's all Dwarf infantry, which is pretty much all I have. So <laughs> we're okay with that. Heavy Quarterstone is going to give me better growth. Inner Stock and Shield gives me plus five for Dwarf Shield units and melee defense. Okay, so how many Dwarf Shield units am I actually using? I declare war on all my Dwarf Warriors have shields. Okay, but Hammers will not have shields. Uh, miners do not have shields either. So, I mean, it's cool and great, but I don't know that's the best. Now, leadership plus five for lords and embedded heroes seems a little bit better, and melee defense, that seems a lot better. We could also go ahead and pick up levee missile, so the recruitment cost is cheaper, the militia training, melee attack plus five. Wait, every dwarf. So, is this a base? Because when you say training, that makes me think of, like, any new units we trade. But that looks like we're just going to get a plus five attack and plus five defense for all dwarf warriors and minor units. And that seems wonderful. Income from settlements is also really nice. I need both of these. Uh, we are going to attack in a couple turns, but I do want more money. Let's go ahead and take the training. Because in, ironically, three turns, they're going to start taking damage. Now the question is, yeah, because yeah, I don't want to wait six turns. I was thinking if we did the money first and then we did the training, that would be six turns, then we would attack these guys. But I don't think I want to wait six turns before I actually go straight attack them. Now the question is, they have to have a, a, a big army somewhere. Surely, surely they have a big army somewhere. And so that's kind of my only concern right now, is that they decide to bring their army to bear against me and then I'll have to fight the, the, these dudes plus the army. I don't know if it works that way though. Of the hey, what's up, dude? A treaty in Shriner Alliance and considered an honor. Uh, heck yeah. Accepted their offer. Yeah, I want to be friends with you, man. So the question is, what are we going to do with the humans? I mean, at some point, I may end up just having to take out Barak Var myself. Because if I'm going to take the other two provinces and get all three of these provinces, I, I kind of need them to be a part of me. So I can actually have the whole province and make, uh, actually that reminds me of something. What, what, uh, what, um, thing am I doing over here? So we are currently doing tax rate. Growth. What are we doing? Where can I see that? Province effects. Here we go. Creeping corruption. Untainted. Armies of undead will suffer losses due to attrition. Huh, nice. And venerate public order. Oh, we're taking the public order. Yeah, I don't need the public order one anymore. Whoopsie. Uh, I don't really care about growth either. Let's go ahead and take the taxes. Let's make more money. Oh, yeah, but it doesn't switch till the end of the turn. I remember reading that somewhere. Uh, you guys still have, what, two more turns? Two more turns. Uh, and we don't have... Actually, we do have enough money. Let's go ahead and get you to rank three, please. Next turn. We're about to make a bunch more money because we're about to upgrade our diamond mine. Uh, speaking of an army. That's a tiny army, though. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Let's Let's get you back. He's not going to be able to get to Squighorn unless he actually marches, so we're just going to run you back just so we can get him back here, just in case. Uh, I mean, worst case scenario, I can bring him back this way, too. But, yeah, I mean, obviously, them bringing anyone towards me scares me. So, I'm wondering what the heck is going on with, like, all the spinny thing around him. Around him. Is that because of him? Magic resistance? The brass cleaver? He is rank 5, which is a little on the scary side, but he has a very tiny army with him. 
So, I, I think Squighorn will be okay. Well, okay, it would definitely not be okay unless I can get you in here. I ain't doing that. But they are running around with goblins and arc boys, so eh. Alright, right. anyways, next turn we are going to start doing some damage to him. I totally didn't actually look what my money income was. Greetings, honorable Yo, what's up? What do you want? Defensive lines. Heck yeah, man. I want to be your friend, Zufsbar. Uh, militia training. All right, so now we're going to do plus damage. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go ahead and get you in here. Now, what if he moves past and goes to the pillars? It is time. Then we're in a scary situation. So, I can't actually recruit because we moved. Eh, which is a little unfortunate. Let's go ahead and take the treasury because I want the money. Um, how many turns until you actually level up? Two turns. Dang it. And we are making more money. So, yeah, we're making 1200 per turn now, which is nice. Um, we can't upgrade anything. I would like to get you to the drinking hall. Actually, that's not really necessary because our public order is so good. <sighs> It's weird playing a game, a Total War game, at least from my standpoint, because it's been a while since I played a Total War game, but I'm so used to actually building units in cities, it's really weird to like, oh hey, I can't actually build the units in the city. I could go ahead and purchase a hero. Now where's this hero gonna go? So we could assassinate him. So let's see. We have a 46% chance of killing him. We have a 43% chance of failing and 11% chance of being hurt. Why is there two different assassinates? They're the exact same. This one's only 26% chance. Now, what else can you do, good sir? Let's cancel you. He is Rorik Berkusen. Can I actually, like... Here we go. This is what I want. Character details. Now, skills. So, he doesn't really have much skills for me right now. I need to actually level him up. I think we are going to go for the 46% chance to assassinate. Although, we won't be able to do that till next turn. <laughs> ah, Alright, hopefully he runs away. That's kind of my hope, is now that I have an army in here. Um, the other question is, are you guys going to be winded or whatever? Because I ran you in there. I don't think so, since it's been an extra turn. Um, they're suffering attrition currently. So, they have not suffered any attrition. Next turn, they will start suffering attrition. Um, let's keep encircling. I'm intrigued to actually see how much damage they take since it's what, like 15 or 30% more attrition because of my hero ability? Okay, so we met them underground. I probably should have moved my hero. Uh, and he's actually pretty damaged. But my gosh, their missile cavalry is significantly better. So... I, I mean... Yes? I'm trying to think if there's a reason why I wouldn't want to do this. Uh, we do have the catapult, so we are going to be able to hit them at long range, which means they're going to have to run at us. The biggest thing is these freaking archer dudes are going to be a pain, I can tell already. So, let's go ahead and get you, like, straight up on the front. What's your range? Your range is really, really good. So, you're going to be able to shoot right away from the beginning. Um... You're the Slayer King? Aren't you just like some regular general dude? <laughs> yeah, I think that's fine. Start battle. I kind of want to look at these spider dudes. Where where are spider dudes? Uh, Are they stealthy? Oh, God. Oh, no. Anything but stealthy spider dudes. Gee, freaking heck. Uh, the War Riders are also going to be a little bit annoying just because of their quick speed. 
overall, I think we're going to be fine. I'm not really worried. Ah! Soldier's tire as they run and fight, meaning they cannot engage in combat as effectively. The vigor level is shown on the tooltip. Uh, Alright, what tooltip? Learn more about vigor here. Soldier's tire as they run. The vigor level is shown on the tooltip. Oh, gotcha. Tired, 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 tired. I, I mean, honestly, I'm not so concerned about that because it's not like we're going to be chasing them or doing charges or anything like that. We're on a defensive um, game right here. so. And I needed to get them back just so they didn't go wipe out my town. Hopefully he can survive. I don't know. I, obviously, he's not going to be as effective as my king. Oh, yeah. That was a nice shot. I'm very happy with that one. Oh, that poor guy just got up and then got whacked again. I think he still lived. You little punk. The only thing with these uh, grudge throwers is they're really freaking not accurate. Although, that got a couple good hits. Okay, these guys are going to be the annoying ones. Ow, that hurt. Uh, and actually, hey, pause. Where is my king? Uh, my general. I need you to come in here on these guys. I need to, I need these guys to just, like, break. Yo, dude, I need you to go with your giant axe. Oh, look at that axe. That's a nice axe. Okay, they're broke already. All right, so, okay, 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 okay. Only shoot at these dudes. These guys are freaking freaky. I do not like A spiders, but man, they're like high level spiders, too. Oh, yeah, nice shot. They're a lot easier to hit when they're not, you know, running around. Okay, yeah, I think we're just gonna stay here. Even though he's pretty hurt. We're just kind of like, our units are just sitting there taking damage. Which, actually, they're not even dying. Oh, where are you going, dude? Get the charge going. Your lord is under attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would think so. He's at really low HP, so I think we're okay. Alright, so there's our victory. Let's try killing these guys for the heck of it. And hopefully we don't kill our own dwarves in the process. I still don't know if you can actually kill your own dwarves. See, okay, so it actually does have the arrow thing, like they're under fire. Maybe it's because their armor is so high, they're just unlikely to actually get killed. That one kind of hurt. Come on. He's got, like, no HP. Just give me... Oh, come on. That was, like, right on him. Give me one more rock. Give me a rock. Give me a rock. Come on, I believe, game. I believe! Oh... That was disappointing. <laughs> well, all right. We fought off the attack. That's good. We took three losses, and we killed 52. So that's fine. I'm pretty sure their wolf riders are the ones that actually, I think, got the kills. I kind of wish you could actually break it down and see who, what units got the kills, which units didn't get the kills. That would be nice. So we ended up getting 317 loot. Uh, they actually have none remaining. Cool. So let's go ahead and just murder them, please. Uh... Yeah, we're just going to murder them. I don't think the treasury, a little bit of money, is worth it. It's not really... Yeah, I don't know. It is an honor. Now what you want? Military lines. Yes, please. Wait, I'm friends with the dwarf. <laughs> a fellow dwarf. Okay, so we gained a new follower. So, what do you mean the Copper Guild isn't important? Tell me, lad. Without our cask, what would you, uh, what would you store the black powder and beer in? Income from all breweries and gem cutters, plus 6% local region. Uh, okay. 
So do I have to be in the region to maintain that? Uh, yeah, sure. You know what? Spite Beckbiter, our enemy Blung the Greenskin has perished. Hey, we ended up killing him. Okay. An Arcane Tempest scours the land, causing untold damage as well as in um, bolded and sanctioned sorcerers and rousing monstrous beasts from their lands. Storm of Magic. Okay, that's bad. Luckily, we have plus five, so we're okay there. So he then got the bonus. You got the follower. So I guess we're going to have to keep him in the region so we can get the plus six uh, percent money. Which, all right, like I said, he was kind of more my defensive dude anyways. Um, I think we want to take full or maybe inspiring leadership. Lords of the Deep. Yeah, you know what? This might not be bad. I mean, it's not like he does a crazy amounts of damage. Melee attack is 70. Okay, his melee attack is pretty crazy good. Weapon strength 430. All right, sure. Let's go actually up here because we can do damage. Better damage. Melee attack, plus six for Slayer units. Hmm, but then still, maybe this is better. Melee defense for Dwarf War or Miners. Okay, so that just gives me plus three melee defense for my... And plus three... Yeah, this actually seems pretty significant down here. What are the higher level tier stuff? Aura size, melee defense, ammunition, armor. You get that. Versus Deadly Onslaught. Plus 18% charge bonus. Relentless is speed, melee defense, melee attack, weapon strength. Foe Seeker is speed and vigor. Rally just keeps us alive longer. Eh, I think we're going to go with the middle one. Let's do Inspiring Presence. And I'm okay with this. Like I said, I think we're going to end up keeping you here long term. Uh, let's go ahead and move you over here. We're just going to take two heroes to go at them. Uh, the other thing we can now do is, since you're here, we can actually recruit some dudes. So we can take some long beards. Uh, left click to recruit, right click for further information. Well, that's interesting. So their strengths are armored and shielded. Charge uh, defense against large foes, old grumblers. So their speed is crap. Their melee attack. So essentially, they're just better versions of Dwarf Warriors. They have 10 more armor. Their leadership is 6 more. Their speed is a little less. Their melee attack is a little bit more. Melee defense is a little bit more. Weapon strength is a little bit more. And their better charge bonus. And then it appears that they have quite a bit of extra things underneath them. Uh, charge defense versus large when bracing this unit negates the charge bonus of any large attacker. Ooh, that's nice. Encourage the unit provides leadership bonus to nearby allies. That's nice. They can hide in the forest and they immune to psychology. They immune in, uh, fear and terror. Huh. So yeah, you definitely probably want like two of these guys. I don't think you'd want to replace all your warriors with them simply because, I mean, how often, I just don't think it's worth the money or the upkeep or anything like that. So for now, you know what? Let's pick up one. Just for one, you know, just for the sake of it. I probably do want to put at least two in here. And we'll probably, I don't know if we need four crossbowmen and two grudge throwers. That seems a little on the ridiculous side. Uh, but I think we're good there. Okay, so that is pretty much this episode. Next episode, we should have the Karen, the, uh, Varenka Hills in our, in our hold. You can see, oh my gosh, look at that damage. Wow, we reduced them like over half... Like, they took, like, over half just on one turn. So I think one turn, and then we're just going to... Whoopsie. Not that button. So I think we're going to wait one more turn. Ah! This button. I can never get out of the siege mode. But I think we're going to basically siege them one more turn, and then we're going to go at them next uh, episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and drop a like, comment, let me know what you guys think. And as always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game comment. Share your support. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!